Hey everyone, just a quick PSA here. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video for some really cool, exciting news for more of these Booster Cracking Sundays that I'm gonna be doing. You're not gonna wanna miss this news, so stick around to the end of the video. Make sure to leave a like and enjoy this Booster Cracking. Thanks guys. Welcome back everybody. It's time to lock down another Sunday Booster Cracking, and today we are finishing up our pre-release kit of the Magic Stone War Zero. We've got a bunch of packs left to go. This is not all of them, I've got more. Just chilling over here. Don't worry, I've got the rest. And we need to find our J rulers because we got no J rulers whatsoever last time. And they're hiding in here. They're hiding in these packs, they gotta be. So let's go on the hunt for some of these awesome J rulers and finish out this pre-release kit. Let's jump into it. All right, first one, we are just gonna go ahead and skip to the back like we do into the light magic stone. And then, oh, very nice, Cinderella, just a normal version, but it's a $12 card, I believe, from the last video, so I'll take that. Behind it, a normal Spirit of Fiery Stone. I haven't gotten this one, uh, at least not in a foil or anything. That is a sweet looking card, actually, that's dope. Keep it cranking. Let's go into the second pack, straight to the little life points. Behind it, we've got the Shub Shub over here, Gatekeeper of the Outer World. Want to get him in a foil, and Ultra Magic Stone Golem as our super rare full art, which is a good, decent card to get, so I will gladly take that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the last video where we opened up the pre-release kit. If you haven't seen that, make sure to go check it out and catch yourself up on what we've been finding and seeing so far and wow that's our like third one of Cinderella that's crazy okay dang behind that a duet of fire just a normal with eh, not my favorite artwork on that honestly oh give me a god pack that's what I want to find that's that would be the best case scenario I think uh, this card in itself is like I'm not going to price it out because we're skipping most of the normals, but this card's like a $3 card, just normal, not even like foil or anything. It's a very popular card. A lot of people must be trying to use that and fit it into decks. All right, there we go. Magic Stone of the Demonic World as our normal rare. Good $3 card. There. <laughs> yes. All right, well, we got Mujdart again, or Mujdart. Mujdart as our J Ruler, our first J Ruler. Let's take a look at the other side. We've already digressed about all the artwork, but it is beautiful nonetheless. I would like to get a J Ruler that I haven't pulled yet, but uh, still like a $30 card, so I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> no complaints here, I'll take it. If they wanna just give me a bunch of Mojarts, that's fine. I'm just saying, I wanna pull something new into the Water Magic Stone and into Spirit of Autumn Wind. Not really valued at anything. And then we've got Duet of Darkness, just a normal. Into the next one. Let's go right to, almost went straight to the rare on that one. Will Coin, Shub Shub again. All right, I'll take more Shub Shubs, that's fine. And then we got Salamander and Ghost Flame. Uh, as far as uh, these duels go, this one's not very highly valued, unfortunately. More J rulers. Boom, straight into our rare that time, just to make sure there's nothing else. All right, so we got Flame of the Outer World. Are we looking good on this camera? All right, I had to make sure our focus was in frame here, not going crazy, but Flame of the Outer World, uh, not super great, but hey, we don't have the Ford of Awakening of Fissing. I don't know how to say her name, Fissing, Fising? Uh, fight sing? I don't know. But uh, I did want to get this one in a full art. That's not bad. And I believe this is one of the more expensive awakenings as well. I want to say it's like 12 bucks maybe around there. So not bad. Not bad at all. Is it a sign that we will pull Fifth Sing as a J ruler or however you say her name? I really don't know how to say it. Uh, someone correct me in the comments. Awakening of Mojart, just a normal version. And then we've got a normal Spirit Ring full art. Whoa. Let's go, we got some zero right there. Do out of wind, light magic stone, life points. We've got the Necromomicon as the book of the outer world. Behind that, oh yeah, that's what I wanna see right here. Azathoth's Manifestation of Death. Still can't say it quite right, I don't know why, uh, but that is a full art that I have not gotten out of the Cthulhu characters, so that is pretty sick. I will take that gladly, thank you very much. Whew. Let's get into it, right to, wow, I just went straight to the 
full art on that one. Oops, I got a little bit cocky on my, my pulls there on that. Demonic World as our normal rare though, and then Neverend Fairy Tale Dragon. Now this one, I believe, ha actually had some decent value as just a normal version. So the full art actually might be kind of surprising for me. That might be in one of my picks of the day just as like a sleeper hit, honestly. All right. Let's go to the correct card. That's fine. I'll just go straight to the stones. That's what I want to see. And then we've got Spirit of Trials, Elfina. I don't remember this one, but that's our super rare. Behind it, though, a Spirit of Hope as our normal full art. Looks like a Pokemon thing, doesn't it? It's very Pokemon-esque, this card. All right, we got the Spirit Ring on the front. Going to the normals, Spirit of Knowledge, and then we got Magic Stone, Will Coin, and then Extraction Wizard. I do like this card a lot. Behind that, though, we've got another. This is our second one we pulled of Research Institute of our Full Art Rare. It's a beautiful card. Um, I think it's like $4, so not bad, not bad. Crank into the next tier we go. All right, we're going to go through a few normals on this one. Oh, straight to the life points. And then Spirit of Trials again, which we just pulled. Duet of Win. Hey, that's a cool looking full art, though. I'll take that. Some nice artwork on that one. Uh, pretty sick. I swear, we better get at least three J Rulers. I mean, that would make me feel good. If we only get two J Rulers out of, what is it, 72 packs, that's going to be pretty disappointing. Fairy Tale Moon. And then there we go, there's a new one. Almaris as our J Ruler, which I haven't gotten her yet. She is a pretty sick looking card. Let's take a look at her. Look at that. Awesome looking artwork for her. And there's her backside. Again, we already know, I've already went on a tangent about this, but glasses on, glasses off, doing a little Clark Kent Superman action on this one, but really sick card. And I don't know, let me think here. I think she's she's not the most highly valued J Ruler, but I mean, all of them are like 20 buckers. I think she's like third from the top on like highest value, but sweet card nonetheless. I'm still sticking with it. We gotta pull at least three J Rulers in these last packs here. Otherwise I'm uh, gonna be a little disappointed. All right, into the Guardian, we got our life points, and then Magic Stone Research Institute, just the normal version, into the Six Sages Magic Stone as our full art. I will take these, these are awesome, and it's decent value. Boom, oh, hide, hide the back. Don't give away the back yet. Making it peek out. Life points into Wolfgang's Apocalypse. We need Wolfgang. Dude, all right, Wolfgang, one more J-Ruler. I'll be a happy camper. Come on, let's go. All right, but we don't have him in this pack. We've got the Deeper Ones Full Art, which is pretty sick card. I do like it. I'll take more of these. It's okay. I'll take any Cthulhu ones, and I'll be a happy boy. Slide these out of the little section. Get the rest of these. There we go. All right, the rest of the packs. Straight to it with our one-eyed, is it one-eyed or one-tailed fox? One-tailed fox. Wind Magic Stone, Life Points, Awakening of Zero. And then we got Flame of the Outer World, Phantasmal Body as our double, not super highly valued, but okay. Bang, straight into Duet of Water, but we're gonna skip, we're just gonna skip on down to the Fire Magic Stone. And then we've got Moon Incarnation and the Fantasy Dragon as our double card. And then, of course, <laughs> did I just like karma myself on mispronouncing the one-tailed fox? I guess I did, huh? Ooh, no more one-tailed foxes. We're not doing that, all right? All right, Darkness Magic Stone. Let's get lined up here for the big reveal of the Magic Stone of Six Sages. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Behind that, we've got Sacrifice of Words and Memories. It is a rare, it is a full art, and it is pretty sick looking. Next one. Let's grind down to water. Life points and Yog Soth, the true hunger. Excellent. I think it's like three bucks. And then Moon Breeze Memoria as a full art normal. Okay. All right. Cranking down this pack. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Magic Stone, Light Magic Stone, and Symphony of the Two Great Dragons as our rare. Behind that, though, we've got Awakening of Almris. I do love this full art. This is some really cool artwork on this one. So uh, I think I've gotten like three of this card actually, too, but I'm not complaining. Oh, that one's poking through. Come on, don't show the end yet. 
we got Fire Magic Stone into Little Red Fairy Tale of Air and Wind of what is it? Got Wind of Gods as our double card behind it though. <laughs> yes. All right, we got Fifth Sing or Fife Sing, Fife Sing. Icing, feasting. I got a namer like Grubelberry over here, I guess. There is our third J ruler. Can we push for? I don't know. Maybe. But here we go. We've got the same deal as like Almaris here. Glasses off, glasses on. But you know what? I'll take it. That I think she's one of the more the most highly valued J ruler. I think she's like almost forty dollars. I want to say, unless she's dropped. She might have dropped. Just saying. But there we go. The J ruler hunt is going strong so all you leave in the comments in the last video hopefully you're getting satisfied by all these j ruler pulls i know i am all right darkness magic stone life points we got the fantasy dragon again and then full art fairy tale moon boom bang and into the next straight to the stone that's what we like to see deeper ones as our rare behind it mm, not great ghost flame already again okay all right, Wolf Gang, Wolf Gang, Wolf Gang, Wolf Gang. Come on, come on, come on, deeper ones. Oh, wolf Gang! <laughs> freaking called it, man. I freaking called it. Wolf Gang, let's go. Exiled Demon Prince. Dude, come on. This this card is so freaking dope. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm shaking the camera, but I'm trying to make sure we got a good focus on this guy. Like, come on. That is so cool. There he is, too, but, oh, so sweet. Yeah. It's fully fulfilled. Fully fulfilled. We're just, everything's icing on the cake from here on out, you know? This is fantastic. Awesome. Can it get better than this? I mean, the only way it can get better than this is if I, like, call a god pack or something. Like, we just go god pack into craziness. That would be amazing. But, hey, we're, we're already on track for some, some good funds here on this one. Keymaster of the Outer World. And then we've got Little Red as our foil and Wind of Gods. All right, all right. In to this one. Here we go. We are coming down to the last few packs here. We got Spirit of Oblivion. Not quite. We still got a few more. Don't worry. And then behind it, we've got Student at the Institute. Just a normal. Interesting looking artwork on that one. It's kind of nice. I like, I like the style of uh, what they did with this one. Crack it on. All right. It's not a God Pack yet. But maybe I just got to chant it into the air like I did with Wolfgang. I just brought him out, man. I just did it. Dragon Spirit is our super rare, though. Not bad. Behind that, Magic Stone Devotee. A nice looking card, but it's just a normal. Next one. Here we go. Showing off the end a little bit. There's our Devotee again, the Matchsticks, uh, which I'm not adding to the total, but maybe I should. Uh, Secluded Fox Village. I haven't seen this card, I don't think, as our rare. Behind it, Awakening of My List as our full art. I haven't gotten his Awakening card yet, so I will take that. That's not bad. He looks he looks sick. He's a really cool looking character, I'll be honest. Can we pull him? I mean, who else do I want to pull? Zero? I do want to pull Zero, because I am a fan of the Zero card, and I do want it. Uh, but I'm not a fan of the artwork on that card. I think my list has a better card than hers. Next one, we've got Glinda the Fairy. Always good news, Glinda. And here we go, Little Red. Wow, that's like our third Little Red. But behind it, Shub Shub Gatekeeper as our rare. And man, it really just exposes so much more of the artwork on this one. Like, like a lot, a lot. He looks like a completely different card. I'd almost think this was like a alternate art or something. I mean, ch so check this out, right? Look at that. Look at how much more it shows you of the card and the foiling just like makes it look so much better. It's so cool looking with the foil, the foiling. Um, yeah, dang, like cut off so much on this side, but dang, it really just spices it up on the full art. Awesome. Am I missing any of the Cthulhu cards in full art? I don't even know if I am. I'm missing, th I'm missing this guy, aren't I? Narlethotep, bringer of war. Yeah, I think I need him in a full art. We got some things we need to pull still, you know? It's, it's not over till it's over though. We still got some packs. Here we go, darkness magic stone, some life points, awakening of Mujdart again. And then we've got fairy tale resistance force, just the normal. Wow, I don't reckon, I haven't seen this one either. I don't like pay attention to the normals until I get it in a full art. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got the ring on top into water magic stone will coin 
Oh, Necronomicon again, Book of the Outer World as our rare. Behind it, a very good one to get in a foil. Now, these Marvel rares are pretty spicy. They're like 14 buckers, and this is a foil, so I will take it. Last, his last lecture. I think I didn't get a foil of this one last time, and it was like 12, 13 bucks. I think this is like 18 bucks, honestly. Good old last lecture as our Marvel rare, but what will we find in this pack? Life point. There is the Fox Village again, and behind it, we've got the Spirit of Dark Knight Full Art. A cool looking card. Three more packs. That's all that's left here. Let's go into the right side. We'll keep our lucky left, even though it's completely randomized and it doesn't really matter. But we've got Magic Stone Golem as our rare, just super rare, I should say, just the normal version. And behind it, Never Ends Roar as our normal full art. Give me the goods middle pack, or just leave it for the lucky left side. Can we get one more J-Ruler in these last two packs? There is Haster, Messenger of Madness. Really cool card, do like that one. And we got Mimphia, Storytelling Girl, as our rare full art. That is a lovely looking card. Look at all that sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Lovely. Last one, here it is from the lucky left side, even though it's random. Let's go through one at a time. We got Glinda, we got Sorrow, Resistance, our Desperate Eight Dwarves, Duet of Wind, Light Magic Stone, oh, was I cockeyed this whole time? Will Coin, Azathos, Manifestation of Death, that is our super rare, and then, ooh, what is this? Oh, it's just a normal, oh. Okay, what is this even called? Boon of the Magic Stones? Sparkling Boon of the Magic Stones, okay. Cool looking card. It's kind of like all the Dragon Balls just floating around in space. <laughs> all right, all right, so here's our pulls of the day. We've got our Magic Stone of Six Sages, the Awakening cards, Fifth Sing, which should be some value here. Going to the past this one, but Awakening of Mylas is also a good one that should be some value. Our Full Art Cthulhu cards, I gotta include them because they're just my fave. And we got Shub Shub over here, which looks wonderful. This Marvel Rare as a foil is high good value right there. And then, of course, we got our Called Upon card, Wolfgang, and into our beautiful three J-Rulers. We found three of them in the pre-release kit. Not bad, not bad. I would like four, but hey, I said I'd be happy with three. I'm going to stick true to that. We got Mojart, we got Almaris, and then we've got Fifth Sing. So that is pretty dang good, if you ask me. Pretty dang good. Totals up on screen for how we did this time around. And... Uh, Obviously, we just pulled like three J-Rulers and Wolfgang and a bunch of good stuff, so we made some good money this time around, but also totals up on screen for how we did total on the pre-release kit. Now, I see some crazy numbers on the pre-release kits now. I, there's one on eBay for like $800. That's ridiculous. Uh, now, did we make that much back? We might have, honestly. <laughs> But I did not pay 800 for this. I, I paid around 240 for my pre-release kit. Uh, I know they sold at like 180, 190, but good luck finding them if you ever found one. Like, congrats to you for that price. I, I struggled. I feel like I paid a good price for mine, and we definitely made really good money on it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, make sure to leave a like and stay tuned for more openings coming up next week. And speaking of openings. I told you guys something at the beginning of the video that you'd want to stick around for. I'm going to tease something for the future of this channel. And if you like this tease, hit subscribe because I need the support. I would like the support to get these openings on the map with some viewership. So please subscribe if you enjoy what I'm about to show you here. I got to grab it. You guys ready for this? I don't know if you're ready for this. If you know Force of Will and you're a fan of Force of Will, then you know of one infamous set that is highly regarded as the most rare, highly valued set in Force of Will. That's right. Let me zoom out on that bad boy right there. The Decisive Battle of Valhalla. I got it. I got my hands on it, and not just one, but two. I'm probably only gonna open one of these things and hold on to the other one, but holy cow. This is something that just came in yesterday for me. Leave a like, subscribe. I'm gonna end on that, all right? I'm just gonna end right on this freaking box and leave you guys to just ponder on what goodies we can find in this rare set. See you guys in the next video.